A little birdie told me that Bart K has been lying about how long he's been carnivore. Do any of these carnivores have any integrity whatsoever? Are they all a bunch of lying shills to promote an estrogenic feedlot beef agenda? This person that sent me the information about Bart K lying told me that if I didn't use the information, she was going to send it to someone else. So I'm deciding to make this video. We spoke about the Andersons, the alleged 20 year carnivore family being complete liars about two weeks ago if you haven't seen that video. Sean Baker has this couple plastered all over his book, yet he just ignores that they're frauds and continues to lie like a true shill. Just ignore it and pretend nothing happened. And yet here we have Bart K lying about how long he's been on the carnivore diet. So January 15th of this year, Bart says he's been carnivore for three years. You went carnivore, things started coming right within a couple of weeks. You know, again, I'll mirror the same thing myself. That's what I found. I finally made the jump, um, oh God, it's maybe three years ago now. Wow. And, um, wow is right. Three years carnivore sure is a long time. But January of last year, one year ago at this point, Bart Clay claimed he had been following the carnivore diet for three months. But my health has actually never in my life been better than it is now sort of about three months into a lifestyle where I eat a carnivorous diet, uh, meaning I don't consume plant matter at all in the normal course of events. I'm sorry, Bart, I'm just trying to figure this out. You claim to be a former senior lecturer in clinical physiology. I am assuming basic math is in your skill set. According to what you said, you've been following the carnivore diet for just over a year not three years. But even so, every few months in your videos, you talk about cheating and deviating from the diet. Bart has claimed this three-year carnivore adherence on multiple occasions, more so recently, here on January 18th. Yeah, I should be dead a long time ago. I'm, I'm about three years in now, um, in terms of consuming any significant amount of vitamin C and, you know, from plant foods or anything like that. And again, just yesterday, here is Bart claiming he is a three-year carnivore. As a sort of 18-year keto person and, well, now 17-year keto person and now basically three-year carnivore, 95%. Um, you know, Yellow Ted says the disclaimer needs to be made, so there you go, 95% adherent. One thing Bart has been transparent about is this cheating and deviation from the carnivore diet. Here he is in late October, pretty much November of 2019, saying he's been eating crappy food for the past few months. I have over the last few months had quite a quite a distressful time in my personal life uh, outside of the YouTube enterprises and things. I have been a bit abusive towards myself in terms of the dietary intake so I have I've eaten a number of non-christian things and, and drunk a number of non-christian things um, there has been some physical you know affectation from that uh, in terms of my health and in terms of um, you know I'm carrying a little bit of a pot uh, which I don't usually do so you know that's that's got to stop. One month later, end of November, still claims he hasn't been carnivore lately. The reason that there is a little bit of fat on my body is because I have been transgressing against the carnivore diet by eating plant material fairly significantly in the last month or so due to a lot of personal distress that's been going on, actually. Then again, December 30th, pretty much January, Bart says he's had a bad few months. I've had the worst three months nutritionally in the last three yeah. months that I've probably had since starting actually my keto journey, which was about 20 years ago. Oh, right, okay. I really have had a very, very poor three months. I've been eating pizza. I've been drinking beer. Um, bad, bad. I know. I know, bad, bad, bald man. So if Bart has had a bad few months before November, that could mean since July, August. And then if that continues into January of this year, you can't really say you're deviating from a diet for six months. You haven't been following the diet in the first place. But this is what these people do. They lie. 
They need to establish some sort of credibility instead of earning it. Just like they propped up Michaela Peterson on the Joe Rogan podcast. In this case, Bart K is lying about how long he has been carnivore so that people listen to a, Oh my God, you've been carnivore for three years? What's the deal, Bart? You just want to eat pizza and drink beer while making a living off of giving carnivore diet advice? Just like Michaela Peterson is selling $600 subscriptions for her lion diet while she gets drunk in Russia? Why do I even have to point this bullshit out? Why can't people see how ugly these people are on the inside? And guys, by no means do I have some type of like photographic memory or like with like those some of uh... If I did, I'd be working on Wall Street and not dealing with this bullshit. We all need to support each other here in the carnival community. Yes. Um, uh, you know, there is even room for, for Frank if he wants to come back to the table. Uh, you know, nobody's, anytime, nobody's like, telling him he's not, you know, welcome. I, I am, I am repeatedly, constantly saying I love you, Frank, and I love the fact that you've been a giver and you've done what you've done. You've lost the plot a bit. You've, you know. Um, you just need to come back to us, really? So hopefully he does yeah. uh, at some point. I'm back, buddy, but because of you and not for the right reasons. I wouldn't say I've lost the plot. You, Bart K, have been pretty vocal in supporting Paul Saladino, a.k.a. Rat Boy, who has clearly plagiarized my information to prop up his carnivore diet knowledge from the 27-year-old bartender. Did you guys go to clown college or medical school? I honestly want to know. All of you MDs after your name are copying. It's ridiculous. But why aren't you supporting me when people copy my videos without mentioning my name? You're saying you need to support people in the carnivore community. Why not support the person that has contributed the most information and helped the most people in the context of the carnivore diet? Oh, because... He doesn't want us to turn into a bunch of soy boys eating estrogenic feedlot beef. Listen, I know all of you weirdo carnivores like seeing cute little fairy boys in dresses, but stuffing them full of estrogenic feedlot beef is not the way. Let them wear the dress on their own. If you look at any of these other carnivore YouTube channels, a majority of their videos are copies of my older videos. Any semblance of coherent carnivore education is likely something I've already said because I have a big ass brain. What I am doing is spending hours and hours every day curating information from research papers, books, reports, and putting it into a concise and easy to understand format. These people are stealing my gathering of that information and they were either incapable of doing the research on their own or simply unwilling to do so. If they did this in school, in college, they would be expelled. All of these carnivore shills are a bunch of lying bullies and they're trying to make me look like the bad guy. But I'm going to be the person that they're chiseling into a marble statue, not you clowns. Uh, so I'm a little salty today, but you guys are, uh, you guys are used to dealing with that. So, I mean, as usual, if you guys please like the video, Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell icon. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I like to think there's some air of positivity, but you, you guys keep emailing me with all this nonsense. It, it's just, it just never ends. The shills, the corporate special interest funding, I feel like it, it's a never-ending hallway of uh, me trying not to slip and break my neck. So uh, you guys can check out my book in the description, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. You guys can check out Frankie's Sea Range Meat for high quality animal foods. You can go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you guys haven't checked out the collab with Blair Walnuts, I will link that at the end here. Thanks for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.